Hello, Wayne. Hiya, Mark. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, well, there's never a dull moment in football, is there, Wayne? Um, first of all, your feelings on today's developments and obviously the departure of someone you work very closely with over the last four and a half years. Um, well, that, that didn't last very long then, did it? Um, look, I know the club have made a statement, so I've just got to stick with that really at the moment. Um, a lot, a lot's gone on in the past few days. So, you know, it obviously the manager's had um, he's had his decisions to make, and, and that's that was obviously between the manager and the board. So, um, I've just tried to be a support network as much as I can, and that's that's all I can do at the moment. So, we've got, you know, the manager knows we've got a big game to look forward to. Uh, and prepare for the weekend, and that's that's at the moment that's at the front of my mind because um, that's the only thing I'm in control of at the moment. So uh, control the control the balls in that. That's what we're going to look to do. So took train day as normal, and yeah, we we go we go into tomorrow with um, with a, a little bit healthier squad. That's that, that which is which is pleasing as well. I'm sure you've spoken to Mike. How is he? He's fine. He's tough, fine. Tough few days for, for him, like everyone else in, involved in this process. A tough few days, did you say? Yeah. So has it been a tough few days for him, uh, for you, for the board, everyone who's been involved in, um, in sort of what's happened? No, not really. It hasn't, hasn't been tough. It's just, you know, things have just gone on that, you know, like I said, I've not been in control of what other people do. Um, listen, the club is... Is always going to be here, whether whether I'm here or whether Michael Flynn's here. You know, previous managers have have come through the door. Uh, that's that's football. But yeah, we we just got to try and you know, it's, it's, like you said, there's never a dull moment. But you got to be adaptable, and that's what we that's what we've done. We've obviously I've I've, um, I've been put in interim charge, and that's that's all I can that's all I'm paid to do. So. Like I said, that's all. I, that's all I really got got to say on it. Really, um, you've taken training as he said as normal. How have the players reacted and dealt with this news? They've been fine. Um, players are quite uh, resolute. You know, resolute. You know, they've um, they they just get on with it. They, you know, it's they got they're paid to do a job as well. Um, same as me. So, you know, we 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 want to. We want to stick together, and we want to show that you know what what how good we can be. Hopefully, on Saturday, like we were against Warsaw a couple of weeks before. So that's that's the plan. Um, we, we've you know we we've only done one thing slightly different this week, and we give the players an extra day off, which was um, which we felt was needed because um, we worked them hard Monday and Tuesday, obviously because we played the Friday night. So we had a little bit a little bit of an extra. Day, but we've been out of we've been out of then giving it the time off in the build up towards the game towards the latter end of the week. So that's been uh, hopefully that's that's worked well. They 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 look fresh today. Like I said, we got a few few back, which is which is hopefully key to us tomorrow. And you know, and it make it makes us a bit stronger. And there's obviously with competition for places. Um, that's that's all I can say. There's that's that's all I would like at the moment, which is which is good. You're an interim charge tomorrow. Beyond tomorrow, what happens? Do you know? Uh, no. At the moment, I think the club are looking down the recruitment process. It'd be... Listen, I, I, I don't know. I don't know at the moment. There's been, you know, like it's only been this morning that, the, you know, the statement's gone out or this afternoon. So, um, yeah, we, we I, I got, I got to concentrate on the game for tomorrow, really. That's, that's, that's what... You know, when I've spoken to um, the chairman and a couple of other people, I, I saw we're focused on doing it at the moment because, like I said, that's that's in my control or in the players' control as well. And, and is to, sorry to interrupt. Is well, tomorrow's game all that the board have discussed with you so far? Yeah, that's been pretty much down to me. You know, I I don't want to. I just, you know, it's come out today. You know, the manager would have been. Probably at the, you know in the dugout, but obviously things happened this week a little bit earlier than what that was 
you know, than imagined. And obviously, the, you know, the club and the manager have had to deal with it in a certain way. And um, yeah, so it's obviously been quite close to the game. So obviously, with that with that in mind, it is just a case of just get through this weekend, and um, you know, hopefully, get a positive result and get back to winning ways. So the plan all along was for Mike to take charge before this news came out. So the fact that it's come out early has that affected your preparations at all? No, not really. Um, yeah, just talks have been ongoing. That was also it was a case of let's just, you know, the, like I said, the players had the extra day off. Friday was always going to be, um, you know, the tactical day that we do, and and that, that's 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 not changed. So. The players are just prepared as normal, really. And you'll want to win any game, but given how long he's been here, how strong a connection Mike has with this club, the, the players must be determined, or doubly determined, to, to get a victory for him tomorrow to sort of give him that send-off. Yeah, I hope, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, this, this and this, we, we, we want to win. That's it. You know, we're at home. Um, we're against a... Um, a team that's going to have a, a different type of challenge to certain other games. And, you know, we got to be prepared for that. So it's not going to be an easy game. And you know, there isn't in, in this league, there's no easy games. And like I said, if we can just put the performance in like we did against Warsaw a few weeks ago, then then everything will be OK. That, that's, you know, fundamentally we need to we need to win and the players need to put in a shift in for the club. So, uh, and the fans, that's, the, that's, that's got to be... That's got to be the most important thing at the moment. You've worked really closely with him um, since that first game at Crewe in, in March 2017. How big a hole does his departure leave at Newport County, do you think? Um, yeah, of course it's going to be a big hole. We've been, he's been here for four years, four, four point seven years, I think it's been, something like that. So it's you know, he's been here a long time and that we've had a lot of we've had a lot of success along the way, and that's you know that's 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 part of you know our our history and his history with the club. Obviously, being a player as well, we you know he's he's gonna he's gonna be loved. That's it, simple as that. And um, yeah, it, it's just obviously I think he's a little bit disappointed that he's not been able to get you know the send off maybe that he would have wanted. But you know that's 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 obviously that's what's happened has happened, and um, we just got to try and you know just look forward to tomorrow really. When you think about what you have achieved over these last four and a bit years, the Great Escape, the FA Cup heroics, the League Cup heroics, the playoff finals, uh, how should he be remembered his time in charge here? You've had phenomenal success in that time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we've had. Yeah, we have, yeah. Um, we should be remembered as probably, you know, one of the, be one of the best managers they've had in a little while, you know, in a long while. So, um, yeah. You, you reeled them off yourself, you know. You, you, there's a there's a big list there of you know Premier League, well Premier League scalps, and you know we've also got you know to Wembley play you know the playoffs a couple of times, not quite been able to get over the line, which has been disappointing. But um, yeah, may, maybe he's just felt he you know he just he took the the club as far as he could go. Maybe I don't know. By your own standards, this start to the season hasn't been as as good as you would have wanted. It's your poorest start since uh, Mike and you came back to the club. What do you put that down to? Do you know? Yeah, um, I'll put it down to the fact that we've had uh, an unprecedented fixture list that I think has accumulated in something like over 3,200 miles in total that we've had to travel. Um, the lads have been on the road for something like two and a half days in total. So it, it's accumulated. And what happens is, is it, it can cost you injuries, fatigue, et cetera. Um, we've also had different training grounds a lot. We've had, we've had to put up with that. So we've not been able to do, um, Say in injury prevention at different venues that we we've been we've been going to. It's just not been viable, and you know notably then you pick up injuries and it's just that knock on effect. We've had probably not really been able to keep a settled team. We obviously with Warsaw a couple of weeks ago, um, 
you know, we ended up having to make changes, obviously, because Mickey got injured, Dom got injured. Um, we lost Joe as well. So, um, yeah, so we lost Joe as well, I think, the week before. It was, you know, we've we just not been able to keep that, that same, not say same team, but now the team, now the, the league's getting a little bit back to normal for us, as in home fixtures being, being in the right pattern and the same as everybody else, then that hopefully will now start to develop into that we can keep a settled, you know, settled team, et cetera, and be on this, the, the, the same level footing as the rest of the, the rest of the league. Cause we haven't, we haven't been, um, like I said, it is hard to win in this league, let alone to win away. And, you know, we, we've bettered some results that than, than last year. Um, so that's, that's been pleasing. So I, I hope that it will work its way back and, you know, we're starting to get going at home a little bit better now. We're starting to, you know, recognise, you know, the, the the surroundings a lot better, and you know, the pitch we're getting used to. Um, so it's little things like that that should have been, you know, done a lot earlier in the league. But you know, that was the that was the hand that we were dealt, and we've got to, we've just got to try and hang in there. If we win tomorrow, then it's another positive home win, and. You know, it keeps us just just in the in behind the pack, really. And you know, we, hopefully that all them away games that we've had at the front end of the season will come back to to you know to be a benefit to us um, later on. You mentioned a few times you've got a few back for tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Who are they? Uh, Mickey, uh, Dom Telford. Um, we've obviously we've lost um, we've lost Priestley. Um, in and we had a behind closed doors game in midweek um, to, for the, like the players that hadn't been playing. Uh, so that's that's a blow. Um, everyone else other than that is uh, is good to go. And what's Priestley's injury? Uh, he's he's got a grade three, I think, tear in his um, in his knee. So it's a it's more of a long term one. So it'll be a couple of months, I'm afraid. You just listed all the things that've gone against you. There's a blow that you really could have done without. Yeah, listen, that's it. We, you know, Priestley's got a bit more of a physical presence for us as well, so we we will miss that. Um, so yeah, so, you know, I'm 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 gutted for him because he's a, he's a he's a good good lad. Um, you know, he's he's fell out of the team a little bit, you know, of late. But you know, he's he's worked hard in training and he and he gets on with it. He's so it was, yeah, it's disappointing. So. Um, that's that's the bit of bit of bad news, really. But positives that we've got, you know, Mickey back and um, and and Don back as well. Um, last couple then from me. Um, you're in charge tomorrow. Uh, you said you're not really sure what happens beyond that. Are you interested in in being in charge for longer? Um, so I, I haven't really thought that far ahead, if I'm honest with you, Mark, because it's. Football, a week in football's a long time. I've said it for for years, and I I've ended up being in it for nearly twenty five years. So, um, yeah, I've been here a long time, you know, on two separate occasions as well. And you always think that you know you're five games away from the sack or whatever it may be. So it's it's one of them. I, I don't look too far ahead if if I'm if I'm honest with you, and that's how that's how I'll always be, whether whether I'm in charge, whether I'm not in charge, that would, that's my that's my mindset. If if you wanna if you wanna call it that, then I, I try not to look, look too far ahead. So anything can happen. So I'm just concentrating on Saturday. Old cliches, but you know I, I just want to generally just get through Saturday with a win, and then hopefully we can then look forward to Bradford the week after we're at home. And you know, like I said, we got a, a free week with the players as well next week. So we can, you know, we can start going, you know, hopefully trying to get back to back wins at home, for instance. You know, that, that's going to be a next target for us. Um, and, you know, hopefully then just sort of keep us at the top end. You're already talking about Bradford, the next game. Um, yeah. Will you be in charge as long as you're well, needed to be? Well, unless I'm told otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> unless I'm told I'm, I'm not wanted here anymore, then... Um, that will be. I've I've got a contract till the end of the season. Until I'm told otherwise, then um, 
I, that I will I will do my best for the club, football club like I always have. So that that's that will not change. That's my mindset from from whenever I've been here. When I've been here as a player or as a you know first team coach, assistant manager, interim manager, whatever you want to call it. So uh, that that's anybody that knows me, that's they know that's what I'm like. So yeah, I, I got to look. I got to look one game ahead, at, you know, at least because it gives a it gives everyone an opportunity to try and build on something. But we've got to try and win Saturday. Fundamentally, that needs to be done first. So that's the most important thing for us and for me. Thank you, Wayne. Good luck tomorrow. That's all right. Thank you. Hey, Wayne. Beth from ITV. You're right. Hi. Um, Looking at the league table, there's only two teams in the whole league who haven't lost a game in the last five, and that proves how just difficult this league two table is. Yeah, I think I said it a few weeks ago that um, you know the league's gone back to type. I think Cheltenham last year, I think they lost twelve times in the, and they won the league. Um, I think in previous seasons, it's possibly even been around that or even a little bit more. So that. You know, if you, you know, the league that shows how tough the league is. You can you can lose pretty much, you know, ten to twelve games and still, you know, get be promoted. That that's fundamentally um, how the league works out. And the, the rent, like I said earlier, there's no easy game. No matter no matter who you're playing. Um, obviously, I think it that home advantage is now starting to creep back through. So I'm I'm you're probably starting to see a bit more of a swing on it. Is whereas the year before it was the away teams that did better because of the no fans. Um, I, I see that now flipping back. So uh, yeah, it, it shows you what a, probably what a tight league it is, and that back, you know then back to back wins. Hopefully that we could get a home has a has a better feel to it then you know in 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 the, in the coming sort of um, fourteen days really. Would you would you say Newport County in a bit of a rut, or is that too strong a word to use? Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say we're in a rut. I think we just we've had to deal with just a lot of issues this year, and it seems to be that they've all built up. Um, you know, we've had obviously the coronavirus that's affected you know a big chunk of the team that affected um, team selections. Then we've had we've had in, you know we've had injuries to certain. I say key personnel as well, um, and we've had, you know, we've had new players to bed in. We've had a, a big, you know, recruitment change in the summer. You know, we lost players. We, we've had to recruit um, probably more than what we would have been ideal, and they're they're factors that have probably just just maybe just get us a little bit more of a I don't know, not be as fluent as we have been in previous years, but. You know, we, we got to the playoff final last year. Um, that that is you know is still in the back of probably people's minds, but um, we're just trying to trying to come out of that away rut. I would say I would call it more of an away rut that where we get you know the days off have been ch you know di changed, um, the travelling arrangements have been different. We we try to do things differently going on Friday night, for instance, and that you know just to try something different, but it has its effects on us, you know. So hopefully this week being able to give them that extra day off because of the travelling and, and everything else. It it seems as though that's helped. Um so I hope that we we go and I hope I know we got a few extra backs, so we will be stronger than um than we, we have been in previous weeks. But you know, as you know, we picked up a win against Warsaw and we we had the bit where we ended up losing a couple of players from it. But that's 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 part of parcel of the game. Everyone's got that to deal with. And it's almost the luck of the draw, isn't it? Who are you gonna who are you gonna face in those early couple of months? And it is frustrating when sometimes it gives a kind of false perception of where you are as an actual team. So on that note, where would you place Newport County in terms of performances in the league? At the moment, I'd probably say we're probably mid table. I think we probably where where we should be at the moment. Um, what trouble is we've. You know, we've always really start. We've started really well of near enough every year. You know, we've been here, so it's that that's down to a good pre-season, etc. But you know, obviously, we've had the playoff final to deal with that change. You know, recruitment. It, you know, there's there's different factors to it. But 
you know, we, we set the bar quite high because of the way we started in previous years. And then if you do lose one or two, you, you tend not to move out of the top, say top seven, for instance. And it, it's no different to us now where, you know, we, we, we win one, lose one. I think that's probably where we should be at the moment, mid table and that, but hopefully with them, you know, the couple of home games that, that can, that can have a big effect and hopefully push us up a few places. So, but you know, it, it can, it can also, also go sadly wrong. And, you know, if we lose next two, then all of a sudden it's a, you know, it's a, it's a different outlook to it all, but going to be really positive and, um, yeah, you know, so we can just get a, a win, win by starting tomorrow. Well, at least you've got those away games out of the way. And last question for me, and there's a saying in sport um, that you should always try and leave the shirts that you're representing in a better place. Has Mike Flynn done that for Newport County? Yes, without a doubt, yeah. You know, the, the day the day that me and him come through the door was, um, you know, you're picking up a team that had been used to losing. Um, you know, there's... Then you know, I'll never forget that 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 great escape season, and you know, f from where the club were to to where it is now is is well, yeah, it's, it's two different places. So, um, you know, there's a lot more money in the bank for sure as well, um, and that that's that's always helpful because that has a that has an effect on you know everyone around the building staff, you know what 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 equipment we can get in. We've improved them areas. Um, yeah, it's, listen, the club is is in a far, far better place. And yeah, that's that's you know, that's credit to him. Listen, good luck tomorrow. Let's hope you get that win. Take Thank care. You. Thanks, Beth. Hey, Wayne, um, Chris. obviously Flynn stayed for the, the rebuild, 15, 15 new players, and he you you still feel this is a side that can he was hoping to go on a winning run before Barrow. And um, you still feel this is a side capable of Get, get getting right up there this season. Yeah, I think if we can keep everyone fit and we get our best players out on the pitch, yeah, I think we can. So, but at the moment we've not been able to do that at the moment. So, that that that's going to be key for me. Um, keeping keeping a you know the I'll say the the key personnel fit um, and hungry as well. So that, that's that's going to be the key to us doing well. But you know. We've obviously got you know other players to come into that. We've got Jake Kane, has, you know, he's got quality. You've got Ollie Cooper, you know, they come in from from you know, obviously other clubs, and you know, we we want to sort of bed them in. We don't want it to be where it's a bit stop start for everyone. That's 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 not how we want to do it. Disappointed at Barrow because we were in some we were in control of the game. That was you know that was what was um, disappointing with. Um, we've looked back at it. We've we've dealt with it as we normally do. Um, Analysed it as much as we can, and um, yeah, we're just trying to trying to trying to get a little bit of a run together. And that's hopefully that starts hopefully Saturday with a with a home with a home game. Because because Flynn, Flynn mentioned that you can't keep having reactions to things, can you? That's that's the the key this season. It's been a bit up and down, hasn't it? it well, very up and down. Yeah, but it's so. Like, so like Beth said it's 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 yeah. like that for it. It's like it's like it's been like that for a lot of teams, you know, not just us. The only ones that have probably, you know, put a little bit of a run together is Forest Green. So, you know, good luck to him. But it's it's a tough league, you know, and going away from home is always hard in this league. So um it even at home is still tough. You know, we've only had the one win. It was late winner, but you know, we've had so, you know, we played late in Orient. Um, and that that was a, you know one of the you'll see now well they're doing this year so against another top side um, with you know teams like that got far big, you know bigger budgets than us and you know where 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 you know I say fighting above our weight you know we're against the likes of them so at the moment we're we're hanging in there um, but there's a long way to go yet there's a long way to go um, so that's all I can say is. Um, you'll, 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 uh, you'll be more you'll be more concerned with the stats than I would be. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I'm a bit optimistic with this, and comparing it to last season, it's, it's oh, up. It's that's up. unusual for you to be optimistic. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's it. Um, <laughs> in in terms of um, optimism, Mickey and Don back. What were they? The blows were they just well, clearly were just niggles from Walsall. Was um, 
Yeah, just a yeah, Mickey, Mickey dad scan. Um, come back, he had a um, a grade one on his. I think it was his on the outside of his knee. So it was that was just going to be sort of seven days. So obviously we couldn't risk him at Barrow. It was a bit too soon. And then um, and Dom was just hamstring, just again, just a grade one. So he was he, he was he was fine. So again, again, sort of seven days. Bit too early for him at Barrow, but he's um, yeah. They they both they both been part of training mostly this week, and yeah, that's been it's been it's been good to see him back really on the training pitch. So finally, what what about what about Scunny? I mean, they were they were poor here last season, but um, yeah, what they yeah that they've um you know they've had a couple of indifferent results, but you know they got a big physical challenge. To us, they you know they give us a little, you know, with they'll have they got three big centre halves, you know, could Loft could play up top, and you know, and if he does, added to you know a few of their midfielders who are you know, still quite quite big, physical, um, that would give us a different challenge tomorrow. So we need to be be wary of that um, free kicks, you know, set pieces, etc. Um, so that that would be a different challenge for us tomorrow. So. Um, I think, but if we can move the ball as well as we did it against Warsaw, um, hopefully try and dominate that midfield area, whether we play against, if they go with a 4-4-2 or if they, they stick to maybe being 3-5-2, then we want to try and, you know, just gain them over loads of midfield and hopefully we can we can then exploit um, a little bit of lack of pace at the back, really, in the, in the fact that they've been conceding goals as well. So, it, they, you know, when... When teams are in them kind of ruts, they're, they're used to. I'm not saying you get used to losing, but it becomes a lot harder when you when you've not been winning for so long. For argument's sake, it, you know that confidence can drain out of you if you um, if you don't start well. But we're going to try and start on the front foot. Um, hopefully, the crowd get right behind us tomorrow and get behind the lads. And yeah, just make it just make it really difficult for them to know that you know they've come to us at the wrong time. Good stuff. Well, look forward to chatting to you afterwards. Like it'll be like Tranmere after you've you've spearheaded a win, hopefully. So, okay. good Thanks, stuff. Mate. Cheers, mate. Bye.